and good morning. Hello. Hi, everybody. Uh, it's Friday today. It's the uh, free show show. Brought yes. Brought to you by uh, Crunch Fitness in Poughkeepsie. Meat Sandwich is here. Boris is also here. And we're, uh, we're getting ready for the, uh, for the big show. Uh, comedian Rich Schultz is also here sleeping on our couch. Yes, yes. So, uh, we got a, uh, a big broadcast. Uh, of course, tonight is the funniest person in the Hudson Valley, round one. Yes. Uh, we're going to be over at Mahoney's at the Laugh It Up Comedy Club right there in Poughkeepsie. Uh, that's why Rich is sleeping on our couch. Yes. Uh, but you can come on by tonight. Energy. <laughs> yeah, you can come on <laughs> by tonight. It's a free show, uh, and it's up to you, the audience, to decide who the funniest person on stage is. Yeah. Uh, and we'll see who gets uh, voted through by you to the next round. The audience. That's right. Okay. Uh, let's see what we have going on today. Oh, our big question this morning is what is the best movie soundtrack of all time? Ooh, no, I know you're a big movie guy, yeah. you're a big music guy. Absolutely. Uh, you probably have a lot of opinions on this. I do have a few opinions on this. Uh, now, here's the question I have. Does it have to be a good movie? Not can, it, can, can you have like a great soundtrack and a movie that you can't stand? I'm asking solely because of Forrest Gump. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I like Forrest Gump, but you're, like, that soundtrack is better than the movie. It's... Soundtrack's incredible, right? Yeah. And then you get the movie, it's like, yeah, okay, yeah. 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 Box <laughs> of chocolates, we get it. It's Bobby Wilber's favorite. Uh, so, Bobby, yeah, Bobby Wilber does love that one. Loves Forrest Gump. Uh, hates the soundtrack, by the way. Does he really? No. <laughs> <laughs> I would, that wouldn't surprise me, but yeah. Uh, yeah, so I mean, there's some of these, you know, soundtracks that were always big throughout the years, like yeah. uh, like The Big Chill, that was always a big one. The Big one. Chill's a good one. Uh, the Pulp Fiction soundtrack, I think, is one of the best. Uh, oh, yeah, any, any Tarantino soundtrack, I think, usually are pretty good. The Kill Bill ones, Reservoir Dogs. Uh, there's a great movie called Streets of Fire, which is a better soundtrack than it is a movie. Streets of Fire? Yeah, from 1984 with Diane Lane and Willem Dafoe. But it has a soundtrack that's uh, all the songs are written by like Jim Steinman and Stevie Nicks and Tom Petty. Oh, it's really? a really cool movie. Look at you. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you're here. You, you make sure you're in the studio with yeah. us when we talk about this today. But we're going to uh, go to the phones. Uh, Ramona saying, Dirty Dancing. Sure. She's like the wind. <laughs> right? Isn't that the, uh, the Patrick Swayze song? I think so. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Phil's saying, Heavy Metal, which is uh, a pretty wild movie. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> All right. Uh, Nancy Clark says good morning, and Ramona says good morning, too. All right. So, guys, you can chime in on your uh, favorite movie soundtrack. Top Gun? Oh, yeah. Top well, Gun, man. Only because the Welber's own theme song is on there. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, speaking of, uh, Bobby Welber will be in. We're going to be talking about, um, you know, I guess football this weekend. And uh, Meat Sandwich, of course, we're going to have uh, Meat at the Movies. Yes. I already know what the big movie this weekend is. Yeah. Because we already have our Fandango tickets. <laughs> my son's very excited about this uh, Lego Ninjago movie. Yes. You got the Fandangos for the Ninjagos? Yes. You got the, my Fandango <laughs> for my Lego with the Ninjago. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I guess we'll talk a little bit about... What, what, are there, like, real movies that are opening yeah, this King, weekend? Kingsman 2 is opening this weekend. Uh, oh, okay. Kingsman the Golden Circle. Did you see uh, Kingsman 1? No, I did not. Okay. It's, uh, I, I really like Kingsman 1. It's, like, uh, kind of a... Sp like, sort of a spoof, but also played pretty straight of, uh, like, J old-school James Bond movies. Mm -hmm. uh, like, it's a very Roger Moore era James Bond-esque, like, very goofy and very fun. And this is the sequel to it. Yeah, I hear the soundtrack's amazing. Uh, I've, actually, the first one I had a really good Oh, soundtrack. was it? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. No idea. <laughs> Opened right. with uh, Money for Nothing by Dyer Straits, and uh, it was cool. Uh, let's see. Rich says Forrest Gump. He likes that uh, soundtrack. There we were talking about that earlier. Um, Cheryl goes Maximum Overdrive. Yeah, that's the All ACDC soundtrack. There you go. All right. Uh, also this morning, besides movies and soundtracks, uh, we've got the WPH Workforce Payroll, and uh, your code word will be coming up during our show. Uh, and our, your first chance to uh, earn that cash is also during our show. So it's very convenient. You just listen to yeah. our show. It's pretty nice. You know the code word. You'll be able to call in, and you'll be able to double your paycheck and get 200 bucks just for listening. Yeah, that's simple. Not a bad deal. All right, so we got all that going on, and uh, whatever Rich is going to be doing. Well, I guess we'll find out later. Okay, we'll find out. <laughs> if someone wants to poke him on the couch and wake him up. All right. So there you go. Have a happy Friday, everybody. Yeah. Thanks for, uh, thanks for uh, watching. Uh, I did get some news. I'll tell you for next week, though. We got some big news yesterday. Yeah. Uh, we did find someone who was agreeing to make us uh, spice pumpkin, pumpkin spice pizza. We did? Yeah. Oh, man, who? Um, uh, our good friend, uh, the Superman. Of course. Angelinas. <laughs> And he's actually working up a, uh, a special recipe for it too. He's going to use the really? he's going to use the pumpkin pie mix. But he's going to put a little extra cinnamon. He's thinking about maybe putting some pecans on it too. This sounds insane. Yeah, it sounds. Um, I, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, was he? Was this something he was already doing, or he heard us talking? No, about no, it? he heard us talking about it, and he's like, "Absolutely, I'm in." It's like I'm going to make you guys the ultimate pumpkin spice pizza. Okay. I mean, his his pineapple pizza was really good. Uh, his breakfast pizza was delicious. Yeah. No, I mean, the guy knows his pizza. Yeah. But pumpkin spice pizza, we'll find out. We'll see. We'll find out next week. Yeah. Is he going to bring in like some real pizza as well so we can enjoy? It? He usually does. Because <laughs> he, he, he doesn't want to be judged by by the wacky pizzas we make, we make him do. So uh, I guess next week is officially pumpkin spice week on the show. I guess. Oh, that was the worst week last year. I know. Well, brace yourself. <laughs> 
We're doing it next week. Oh, boy. So, anyway, uh, we'll see you on the air in just a little bit. Thanks for watching the pre-show show. It's brought to you by Crunch Fitness in Poughkeepsie. Join now with just a dollar enrollment fee and enjoy unlimited group pla- group classes, uh, free tanning and hydro massage, plus guest privileges at Crunch locations throughout the USA. What he said. Yeah. All right. Thanks, guys.